many of us are convinced that Los Angeles is the place to be for contemporary art right now. Maybe this is the best city in America for an artist. The Arts District was formally, formally um, founded, I think, in the 1990s, and that's uh, a time in which the city of Los Angeles passed the Artist in Residence Ordinance so that artists could legally live and work in these, you know, kind of cheap, large warehouse spaces. I got my studio through the LA Weekly, actually, but it was right after Rodney King. There was just this kind of tension and sort of like hangover from the crack era a bit more exhaustion and desperation. I had a studio downtown um, at 6th and Alameda, which even when I lived in San Diego and I first started to put posters up in LA, that was a corridor that was always great. A lot of warehouses and uh, buildings that were dilapidated to, to put art on. And then also, same warehouses provided um, cheap, cheap space for, for artists to rent. There's perhaps a, a, a less rigid structure to the arts here because there's uh, so much collaboration between disciplines and with filmmakers and animators and uh, visual artists has really created a, a unique L.A. voice. You know, I absolutely do think that the standard downtown L.A. has had a really positive effect on the emerging art culture for our neighborhood. It's getting a group of people to come to downtown LA that would never ever think of coming down here for art. And the Sixth Street Mural is a new art piece for the standard downtown. Recently we had Charles Munka and he came out and installed this incredibly dynamic piece. This is Subliminal Projects which is my gallery that's inside the same space as our design firm, Studio Number One. I am doing my first show here. It's called Printed Matters. These are uh, multi-layer um, screen prints of transparent black ink on oxidized aluminum. I've always loved the textures of things that you find on the street, outdoor surfaces, and um, things that things that feel like they have a life that you know it's been organic. It's less about pristine, sterile, white, and uh, you know I think it really adds to the character. This is Glenn Kino's rotating Aeron chair, a symbol of the high tech economy 15 years ago. It spins and spins until it becomes an abstraction. It goes boom, bap, original slap. Came from the bay and we brought it right back. Twitching, tweaking, kids be leaning. Like Hollywood and the art world are both very closed off circles and they're almost like these clicks. It's like coming to new school and when you sit down at the table, you have to sort of integrate. And I think that Jeffrey's sort of tapping into that and is doing things that are making it more palpable to a broader audience. He's actually the person who's long been the, that bridge between the emerging urban culture, street culture artists and the you know higher end fine art world and now he's in a real position of power so you know some people I think are feeling very threatened um, by, by the mood but <clears throat> a lot of younger people I know are extremely excited we're standing in the central room of the Museum of Contemporary Arts Dennis Hopper retrospective Dennis was one of the great figures in Los Angeles art culture a great filmmaker, great actor, lesser known as an artist. His photographs are extraordinary in capturing the 1960s scene. I think that many people in the contemporary art 
world um, will shun the uh, entertainment industry as just a uh, force to contend with, but uh, the fact that there are thousands and thousands of people with uh, knowledge and practice of how to incorporate moving images, whether it's film or video, into uh, collaborative artistic practice creates incredible opportunities. The history hasn't been written. You know, I kind of like to say it's like a choose your own adventure if you're an artist. I mean, you're really in the midst of the history currently being written. Um, so I think that that's why it's a very inspirational place to be living and working right now. You know, I think that's been the spirit of, of downtown LA for a, a lot of years. It doesn't matter whether what you're doing is really commercially viable, you just try to make it happen by any means necessary. You, as an LA artist, don't feel pushed to go in a specific direction. And I think that my range as an artist has um, benefited greatly from being in LA.